So this video is going to show you how to embed a YouTube video into an article or a custom HTML module in your site. We're going to do this in a Joomla 3.0 site, and this is a site built in the Meet Gavern template from Gavic Pro. We're going to do this in the Welcome to the Cafe article. So what we're going to want to do is first go to youtube.com forward slash cloud access. So the first thing I'll show you is our YouTube channel full of uh, helpful videos and documents and, uh, and uh, a lot of different tutorials on how to do things with Joomla. Let's go ahead and um, search for uh, a cafe video. And, oh, I'm not really seeing cafe coffee maybe? Um, cafe art, here we go, the best coffee ever. So this video was submitted to YouTube. Oops, okay. So if we're lucky, they've uploaded this to the Collective Commons. So I'm going to click on Share, and it looks like they, they're willing to let us share this. So if you have the ability to embed, you can get this iframe code. So we're fully uh, protected. Uh, we can use this. The owner of this video says we can use this in our site. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this iframe code. And notice here how when you do this, Again, I went to share below the video, went to embed, and then you get the iframe code. The iframe has the dimensions of the video in there, and you can select your video size here, make it larger or smaller uh, for your specifications. So let's go ahead and copy the iframe code. And we're going to go to the back end of the Joomla 3.0 site. Let's save and close this area we were working with in the module. And we'll go back to our control panel. So the first thing you want to do after you get that iframe, you're going to want to make sure iframe is enabled for your super user. So go ahead and go to your global configuration area and go to text filters. You're going to want to go through here, and uh, I'm a super user, and see how this is set to no filtering? Make sure your super user is set to no filtering. Um, a blacklisted user, this is going to filter out iframe code. You see right here, blacklist users, somewhere in this list, iframe code. It's going to strip out that, that code because it is potentially damaging to the site. You've got to be able to trust whatever iframe code you're embedding. So um, after that's, that super user is set to no filtering, let's save and close this area. If you're using the JCE editor, you also have to allow iframe code to be used through the editor. And to do that, you'll go to Components, JCE Editor, and we're going to go to Editor Profiles, and then open up our default editor. Once inside the editor, I believe we go to Plugin Parameters, and then come down to media support here and right here you see by d default iframes are not allowed. I'm going to click yes to make sure def um, make sure iframes are allowed. Let's go ahead and save and close and now we're ready to go to our article manager. So let's go to content article manager. We'll open up the welcome to the cafe article and with my iframe code and expand my work area here. Um, I'm not going to paste it into the regular article text. This is code, so I'm, I want to click on this little button within the editor to toggle to the source code. So that gives me the HTML version of the article. I'm going to hit enter, go down one line, and paste that iframe in there. Notice how the URL is in there, and we can even change the dimensions of this right within in the code here. Let's go back and notice the yellow box. There's no way to preview, unfortunately, your, your, your videos. I'm going to center this, and let's go ahead and save. No way to preview. You just have to save and go to the front end and see how it works. Let's go ahead and view our site. And if I scroll down here, here I get my video embedded, and again, we can change the dimensions if we want to. So um, that is how to embed a YouTube video into your article. And doing that in a custom HTML module is um, very similar. It's the exact same process, really, except you're doing it in a module.